as we dis <laughs> as we've discussed this evening, the UK's second biggest airport is closed or has been closed for the foreseeable future after two drones were spotted in the runway area. Now, police are searching for the responsible party or parties with a possible five years in jail to follow. Actually, in the, uh, the latest update, we have seen there's been some limited arrivals and departures, but mm. that's a, basically a developing story this evening. Yeah, the, the runway was shut down for over a day, though, so the story remains of what a disaster this was, the international headlines it gained, and whether this was really a proportionate response. For tonight's Taking Stock, we're joined by Warren Mundine, host of Mundine Means Business, and Richard Miles, Pro Vice-Chancellor at the University of Sydney. Yeah, was it a proportionate response, guys? What do you think? Uh, given the accent, I guess you get... You Get to start right. tonight. Let me start. Actually, my mum lives just down the road from there. Oh, so did she have a local take? I don't, I've not asked her yet. She probably I should have run around. Huge accusations right off the bat. What are you saying, Warren? <laughs> but I thought the funny thing was, is, did you see their first response? To try, and, to try and get this out of the way, they were using a large eagle and a net. <laughs> did you hear this? What? 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 I did not hear that. Oh, that that is low tech, isn't it? No, this kind of thing. I was a bit, I was kind of a little bit embarrassed for the mother country. You know, <laughs> high tech way of dealing with these drones. I Get a net and an eagle. Yeah, I had, I had a drone <laughs> taken out by an eagle. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, did you really. We were, we were up in uh, Kalanara and we were, ta we were sort of, uh, uh, you know, doing an overview of the town. And then the <laughs> big eagle come around and swung around it, and then then another one come along and they just. That's no, wow. yeah, that's it. really it's cool. Not a <laughs> no, it's not. Maybe that's really the coolest cool. thing. What about the net? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. The well, net. we weren't so high tech as the English. Are, but anyway, <laughs> they added the it's net. One of those. How <laughs> incredible! Those. But it is, a, it is a problem. You thought you thought to think about it. You know, a couple of drones out there. Bang, the whole airport's closed down. You know, yeah. what could imagine Sydney being closed? Just seems so well, easy. That's a big question, isn't it? Yeah. Could it happen here? Would we do the same thing if Sydney Airport there was a drone or two that popped up? And, um, and when you made the announcement about some people have been taken out now, I wonder if they've taken out on drones. They were just. Oh, off they who went. knows what kind of crazy stuff is happening there now. But I mean, it wasn't until recently the whole drones thing was almost completely unregulated. Mm. Yes. So, and that you know, they're, they're actually, right. yeah, and they're really having to sort of scramble to get that sorted out. Because, yeah, because two years yeah. ago you started, to, you know, being able to drive, yeah. buy these yeah. drones pretty easy. I mean, they were expensive, but people could use them for hobbies and suddenly yeah. there was no regulations yeah. around any of that stuff. That's right. A couple of, couple of grand, you can get a good, real good yes. drone. Yes, yeah. like commercial quality, right? With a camera right? on it. Uh, not that I do this flying around suburbs. Filming people. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, yeah. but it, it kind of has been allowed. We live on the edge of a yeah. bush, and someone in our family members got one. Is you know, over the bush, yeah. beautiful views. Yeah. I just bought one for a, a nephew for twenty nine bucks from one of the, the big retailers. I mean, bucks. I haven't got a camera. Twenty nine bucks. Yeah, I'm just trying to imagine That's what sort cool. of drone that is. I, I'm, look it up. Look at the kids' well, the kid the sections. <laughs> they are all the rage. They're actually very available. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. that's not the ones that um, we used. Yeah, <laughs> get more careful, but I don't think they were far off. It's the point. It's great technology, and this is the this is why we can't have nice things argument because we're always going to be using it for, for kind of for bad, for evil. So, we, you know, yeah. why can't we use good things for good? Well, that'd be nice, Warren. That's, That's a great thing. Christmas message. That is Warren. nice. All right. We could almost end there, but no. <laughs> well, uh, one of our previous guests is from a company called Drone yeah. Shield that oh, kind, right, okay. kind of protects against this type of thing. He said, just Google ISIS and drones and you'll see the, the evil ah, being done in the world. Yeah, so that's he scary, said this isn't stuff it? is yeah. such a danger. Anyway, he reckons the, the airports will get a big wake up call from what happened yeah. at Gatwick no, today. They're going to have lots of eagles flying around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe. <laughs> <But nets. laughs> I just go, so. How do eagles hold the nets? <laughs> it's very cool. It's like, you know, it's, it's a cool space. The, the drone shield company that we were talking about, basically we're talking about a bazooka that she shoots laser beams at the thing. Yeah. Mm. That versus an eagle, I mean, which is cool, cooler way to take out a threat. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, that's very cool. Anyway, moving on. Um, speaking of birds, uh, we all know that the 12 Days of Christmas song, we're all familiar with that. But have you ever wondered what all of those swans, turtle doves, leaping lords and pipers piping, what they all cost? Well, wonder no more. It's 140,000 Australian dollars. So let's have a bit of a look at the breakdown. Here it is on screen. Now, this isn't all 12, of course, but, you know, a few thousand dollars there. Well worth mentioning that the swans are the most expensive thing on the entire list of 12 at, uh, at $64,000. So, I mean, look, oh we're talking about this because it's very Christmassy, Warren. Yeah, um, right. You know, why not have a bit of fun with it? I just felt, uh, like, I just felt like having a swan for Christmas, but uh, oh, no. $64,000. Oh, it's an investment. <laughs> no, it's a big investment, yeah. I, I feel like 
I've got to keep it alive and not eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. I mean, th so this this song, you're obviously familiar with the song. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to sing it, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was my next question. We didn't get you on here for your singing, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> I mean, are you surprised no. to see that? It racks up to 140 grand. But I was wanted to ask, so is this so you can own them, or...? Maybe it's renting, yeah. I think point. it must be, you know... Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure. You can't have the 12 drummers drumming, can you? You're not going to buy them. Imagine, you'd pay them to stop. It's obviously <laughs> some people are going to need to have something to do, I think. You're sitting around working out the cost of swans and yes. drummers. Yep, well, there's that's an economist it. who thought they exactly. needed to get is in this, on the Christmas thing. Is this basically? the nerdiest thing to do on the 21st of December? I, I love the article. Did you read the bit in it about the... It's in the Australian by Henry Ergus, yeah. for anyone yeah. who wants to read it. First of all, yeah. it's the most complicated article you'll ever read. Yes. It is, I had to read it? it four times. It's basically. a serious <laughs> message. Yeah. And the second, the second thing is there's a great bit in it about the First Nation chieftains in North America mm -hmm. who would give each other the most expensive expensive thing they could and then destroy it. So it was like a sort of face off wow. with one another oh. to see who didn't care yeah. about this yeah. sort of stuff. That, that would have been my yacht on the <laughs> Brisbane River. <laughs> 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 That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Coming down from a by a drone. So <laughs> yeah. Well, no we, yeah, could, uh, uh, an eagle with a net. <laughs> would have sufficed, you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, well, we've got one more thing to talk about tonight, mm -hmm. which is a bit of a laugh, too. Did you know that KFC has cemented itself in Japanese Christmas culture? I just, I did not misspeak. That is a real thing that's going on if you weren't already <laughs> aware of it. The American fried chicken giant is part of a big uh, Christmas tradition over there, but the origins of the tradition are quite simply a lie. The first store manager in 1970, in the face of slow sales, told people, this is what everyone eats in America at Christmas, and it took off. So <laughs> the question is, should he be feeling bad about himself? No. Or he does, As if he lived, I've he lived in America. Everyone yeah. does eat KFC yeah. for Christmas oh, okay, so every day of the week. So somebody <laughs> should tell him, okay, it was the truth. You don't have to feel bad anymore. Yeah. But I reckon it's a great, you know, look, I've got to tell the truth here. Uh, in America, um, the tr Christmas tradition is actually buying my book. <laughs> <laughs> and giving as many as you can away. And I think if you say that with authority and confidence, yeah, people so will just believe you. No, right? no, it's, it's, it's not a lie. It is, trust me, kids, <laughs> tell your parents <laughs> to buy this book. It's amazing. Right, so we, we know your answer to the question. Then, Richard, is it, is it unethical to go into a new country and tell them what <laughs> everyone else oh, is so doing? Oh, so you're making me unethical. No, no, I'm just asking the question. Right, that's, just, that's just marketing, right? It's marketing. <laughs> it's just very, brilliant marketing. He feels right? really good. bad these days. No, look. All, you've got to remember one thing, all traditions are invented at some point, right? Mm. So you're just inventing a new one. Well, that's true, actually. That's, we are a man of history. Oh, yeah, a man yes. of wisdom, obviously. <laughs> so you reckon that's all right. It also got us thinking about... Uh, you've just got to work a little bit harder, otherwise you wouldn't be a pro by <laughs> chance. Yeah, 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 watch out. Um, you've got us thinking about rusted on uh, traditions at, mm. at Christmas. Have you got any, uh, any family traditions, die hard, um, you know, uh, uh, every year, got to do this? <laughs> now we're just a very traditional mob we get there we have an enormous feed and uh, then we get drunk and fall over and, and, we, we, and the kids go to the swimming pool and hope no one's drowned it's, you know. and that's a good simple. Christmas right there yeah. simple. So, so both me and my ex-wife are both poms yes. our kids are very Aussie so we have a very cruel and unusual Christmas oh, in yeah. the baking heat we yes. make them have turkey roast Hot potatoes <laughs> a lovely big you know finish it off with a lovely big stodgy Christmas pudding yes. and they were going what is all this can't stand it. Can we have some so prawns, please? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Chris That's what my mum used to one. do to us, actually. Yeah. 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 The hot dinner. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't eat that bloody uh, swan, we would have been right. Look <laughs> 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 at the yeah. dugong. You That's went for the dugong. Oh, yes. Dugong. Now I'm going to get in trouble. I shouldn't have raised that. I'm going to get the, all this hate on, the, on Twitter. <laughs> 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 I went and put up this photo of uh, a bunch of uh, turtles once. And uh, because, you know, Aboriginal cost, we yeah. eat turtles, river turtles. Yeah. I tell you what, did I cop a flogging? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I spent some time up um, you know, kind of north of Broome um, yeah. with some, some Indigenous guys up there, and yeah. near James Price Point, actually, oh, just right, before yeah, the yeah. whole gas thing uh, took off. Yeah. And they were quite dirty that day because they'd caught a dugong and someone had nicked it out of the freezer, and it was for the big <laughs> celebration of the birthday <laughs> and the weekend. So I'm going to be a very naughty Indigenous person. I know it's very important to eat dugongs yes. for Torres Strait Islanders, 
but it tastes like rubber to me. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, really? oh, there oh, an insight. There's an insight right that, that I didn't have yeah, exactly. for everyone. Uh, okay. Chris has got a tradition. Yeah, okay, my tradition is much less controversial than that. Um, it's it's uh, guacamole. Uh, really weird on Christmas, but it just sort of took off, and now all of a sudden I'm the one who makes the guac, and I make way, way too much, because uh, nobody else really thinks uh, that this is much of a <laughs> thing. Really so I'm Christmas following thing. people around on Christmas going, have some more guac. It's about to go off. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. But, yeah, um, it yeah, no, that's should have uh, Dugon dip in it. That yeah, <laughs> maybe that would make the difference. I'm talking. Exactly, exactly. Okay, Brooke, finish so Our up. tradition what is just the, the nap. I mean, we just eat yes, and then okay, everyone drops like flies to the floor, like a war zone. Everyone is just on the floor, mm, on yeah. the table, on the, on the couch. Yeah, you've been sleeping. to my Christmas. Everyone's <laughs> <laughs> drunk. Everyone's just asleep. Yes. We're really good nappers in our you've family. Been, you've been worried, though. Yeah, you'll probably wake up and I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, my, my husband said the first time he spent Christmas with our family, he just was like walking over dead bodies. <laughs> what is going on? We're just having a nap. Nice. That's what we do. We're nappers. No, Thank no, you so Sounds like a good Aussie Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you. I feel, feel good now. <laughs> Warren, thank you. And Richard, great to have you on this very fun Friday night uh, right before and Christmas. All Merry thank Christmas, you. all your kiddies yes. out there. And yes. don't forget to buy the book. <laughs> <laughs> it is your Christmas tradition. Yes, it is.